Ciao Marina and hello everybody at the Global Table Show. I'm walking in the city center here in Cork. Uh, it's Oliver Plunkett Street, one of the main streets in Cork city center. Uh, it's not too cold, surprisingly. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy this little tour of Cork city center and its Christmas lights. This is one of the coolest shops in Cork. I don't know if you can hear the boys here. And watch them leave. All too busy. This voice is basically telling tales, Christmas tales, all day long. And the windows are just so cool, guys. Guys, I need to call this mission off. In typical Irish style, it started to lash. It's actually, it's not even rain, it's freezing rain right now. So uh, time for me to go home. Hope you liked it, guys. Ciao, Marina. I'm so happy to be part of the Global Table Show. It's super cool. I hope you like what I showed you about Cork City Center, the Christmas light. There's a lovely Christmas atmosphere around the streets here. Uh, it's actually raining right now with this floods uh, but that's a different story one cool thing to explore is how does an italian celebrate christmas in terms of food because obviously food is a, it's very important but what happens if that italian is a vegan like i am or a vegetarian well there's ways and there's a lot of stuff that we can eat so this is probably what i'm going to have for christmas my starter is going to be an arancina by the way i'm from palermo so i call it arancina uh, female and some other parts of the island it's called arancini arancino i stick to mine there's a story behind it so every year on the 13th of december on saint Lucy's day it's a tradition to eat arancina so palermo starts smelling of fried arancine from very early in the morning. What's the story? The story is that Palermo, there was a great famine in Palermo. People was actually starving. And the last shipment, the last galleon with food uh, sinked. So uh, there, there was absolutely no food at all in the entire city. And so people started to pray. To pray. And apparently according to the legend, St. Lucy was the one that heard the plea of the people from Palermo and led a ship dock in Palermo Harbor. This ship was transporting grain. People didn't waste time. As soon as the ship docked, they got the grain and they boiled it. So they didn't turn it into flour. They didn't start cooking something fancy. They just started boiling it and made this kind of balls, uh, which are now arancine, which are made of rice. And it's a tradition in Palermo not to uh, eat any pasta or eat any bread on this day. And all we eat is arancina and a cuchilla, which is uh, something I don't really like. 
the recipe that you're seeing here somewhere in the video is uh, the vegan version of my vegan version, let's say, of the arancine. Uh, I will link the full recipe, the full video here. For pasta, I will go with a big classic from Palermo and a big classic for the holiday season. And I actually eat it all year long, so I guess it's always holiday for me. Pasta al forno, anelletti al forno. Anelletti is the typical shape of the pasta, it's little rings. Uh, some people might think that it's spaghetti hoops. No, it's not. And it never will. Pasta al forno is typical. It's one of the most typical things from Palermo. It's a must during the holiday season because you can bake it in batches and you can feed, I don't know how many people. Well, if I'm around, maybe a bit less. The recipe that you're seeing here is, again, the vegan version. I've used soy mints, I've used eggplants, and the cheese that I've used is BioLife cheese. There's plenty of places where you can find the traditional recipe with, uh, you know, minced meat, the rye cheese, and everything you want. There's different variants as well. So I'll do a bit of research, but if you're interested in trying the vegan version, and uh, I think you should, uh, Check the link. The other main, because obviously you would have a starter, you would have pasta, then you would have meat normally, and then you'd have a dessert. What I will probably do this Christmas is a corn uh, roast. In case you're not familiar with corn, it's a substitute of meat made out of a fungus. Uh, it's very good. I tried to stay away from processed food, uh, but this is a special occasion, so it's fine. I don't have the recipe for that, but I'll pair it up with a special salad, which is an orange salad, which you'll see somewhere here now on screen. This is also very typical. It's normally done on the 8th of December or from the 8th of December. It's Mother Mary's Day. That's La Madonna in, uh, in Italy. And it's a big one in Sicily too. So this kind of salad uh, is very good because there's the sweetness of the, of the blood oranges and the taste of the onions and the olives. So there's a, there's a very good contrast between sweet and savory. And it's definitely one of my favorite salads ever. There's a very beautiful farmer's market here in Cork, on Cork Market Street. And Sometimes I'm lucky enough to find blood oranges directly from Sicily and when I do I buy quite a lot of them uh, But I never I almost never end up eating them alone as a regular orange I mainly do the salad over and over. I just love it And finally for the dessert even though I don't have a recipe for that It's a big classic so I'm sure you can find it pretty much anywhere on the internet I'll work on the video recipe and give that to you guys whenever possible <laughs> or whenever I'm ready uh, but look this is what I have this is what you need to make the cannoli shape so I'll be making cannoli uh, with viga ricotta and chocolate but you can find your own recipe online with the regular ricotta how to do the dough and everything else this are essential without this you can do cannoli you can buy them for very cheap on Amazon I think I bought six, the six of them for some five euro six euro maybe so this is my menu for Christmas let me know what you think let me know if you like it let me know if you're gonna try anything and guys have a great Christmas have some great holidays have your very well-deserved break let's recharge and reboot for 2021 hopefully it's going to be much better than 2020 grazie mille ciao